A tow truck driver tore up this Reedsville yard. As you can imagine, the woman who lives there was not happy. Mm -hmm. Her frustration only grew when the company did not want to own up. They changed their mind once two wants to know Kevin Kennedy got involved. Head down this gravel road off Highway 29 in Reedsville, past the two giant trees and the small pond, and you end up here. And my grandfather had 99 acres. All of this encompassed around this particular pond was owned by him. This land has been in Santa Davis's family for more than 75 years. You have the pond that's overlooking the house, and it's really enjoyable. From picture perfect to perfectly horrible, a tow truck leaving these giant ruts in the grass. They were going to the house at the end of this road, but they got stuck. They came to the wrong house. Rain had softened the land, the 8,000 pound truck sinking in. It was like, oh my God, and I went into panic mode. Santa not seeing the damage up close till the next day. The tow truck company taking off, but Santa found the company and called. They know they damaged the property. All they had to do was get my contact information and contact me. Even after a call from Santa, nothing. It was like three weeks and I still had not heard anything. That's when I decided that I need to move forward and talk. contact your TV station. We called the tow company, explained the issue a couple of days later. Once both of you reached out to the uh, tow co company, they replied then. They did more than reply. They agreed to cover the cost of the damage. I got the check within five days in the mail. To Santa, this land is more than dirt and grass. It's a connection to her past. Damaging it damages that. In Reedsville, Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know.